Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we'll see how to use Auth0 with WordPress. So I'm going to first find Auth0 plugin. And before we begin, if you are new to the channel, I'm Lax, I'm a web developer, and I do most of the stuff with WordPress, PHP, and uh, Next.js now. So you have to uh, start by installing official Auth0 plugin and then you can see uh, you should have a free account once you create a free account and then you can go to your applications you can see your list of applications there so we have to find your tenant uh, address so it can be find here so this is your tenant actually So I'm copying the tenant details. And then you can go here, there it here. Dot auth zero dot com. So this is your tenant domain, and then you have to find your token. So to find the token, either you can go from here, or you can find the token here in uh, APIs. Go to APIs, you can see API Explorer and it will create a token for you. Yeah, again, just copy this, save it, um, copy this token, uh, either or you can follow this one, it's again the same thing. Uh, so go ahead and paste your API token uh, and then these scopes has to be enabled so in my case these scopes are already enabled so uh, i guess it's by default so you can go to your api explorer and if something is missing you can enable that also and then i'm going to say standard setup so so far we have just installed the plugin activated it and then we have added your domain and then your uh, API key uh, auth0 management API key and then here you have to say configure connections so this is kind of autopilot mode it will go and uh, do the necessary things that you have to do you don't have to do anything and it's quick uh, so as you see it's like this is going to uh, connect with my databases and stuff uh, let's go let's go to WordPress and say now we have established the connection and this is a demo user I don't want to bring that to Auth0 so I'm going to skip this step now go to the plugin settings yeah you can review the settings here I just uh, can keep it like uh, as it is and uh, if someone registers the site it will ask for user verification so let's see if the login works or like uh, let's see if uh, and before we test it you can see anyone can register is disabled so this means no one can register to this site uh, but let's see how it works like if we don't enable this one and see how uh, Auth0 handles that i'm going to say log out so since we are already connected to Earth zero, actually it should work. I'm not sure. If it's... Yeah, let's see. It should be Greenberg local. Yeah, so right now it takes me to the Earth Zero app. Like this is the name of the app. Like you can change it, and you can also change your logo and some colors as well. Uh, for the demo, I just keep it as it is and just the name. So I'm going to first to try sign up as a user and let's see what happens. Um, so maybe we can say 
flags add example maybe example is not good so i'm going to say some website uh, and then i have to set a password uh, so you can see it has a default uh, password verification like it, it has to be a strong uh, password And I say sign up. So right now, uh, this user will be registered on Auth0 database and it will be also added to uh, WordPress thing. I'm going to say yes. And you can see uh, there's a problem with your login. That's an error. And that is because, uh, actually that is because we don't enable Anyone can register that thing and also the user is not active so let's go to user management users and you can see the newly registered user I'm going to say so this email verification is pending I'm going to mark that as verified user and save it and now let's try using it uh, yeah so this is because we didn't enable anyone can register thing so this is like a test let's see so i have enabled the user registration now uh, in wordpress so let's see That helps. So what happens now is Auth0 will meet in the session. So as you can see, now I can able to log in. So you can log out, you can see the When you log in, you can see Auth0 uh, in the login screen. Like the login and registration will be handled by Auth0. Yeah, that's it. Like right now, Google, sign in with Google is enabled. So if you want, you can use other providers as well. And so that will make a lot of things easier for you and your uh, site users. So here, you can see user details, you can add user metadata, uh, you can also define user roles. So there are a lot of cool things that you can do with like you can see so you can add roles here, you can assign and create roles and all this stuff comes free. Uh, Auth0 supports up to 7000 active users. So if you don't have monthly active users, you don't have to actually pay for it. There is a limit, like there's a generous limit of 7,000 users. So you don't have to actually worry too much. And then if you are want to use uh, Auth0 WordPress and yet you are using something else, like maybe an XJS, uh, like a headless WordPress thing. So you might need uh, like data, right? So you can use the access uh, users data here. You can see uh, the name and all other stuff. Worry most about the authentication and with Auth0, it's kind of more safe, easy, and uh, all the other side. On the other side, I like uh, most of the stuff I like is their documentation. So, whether you are a expert developer or a beginner, you can still be able to configure and check all this stuff by yourself. Great. Uh, so I hope you uh, like, and also you can check uh, users. 
uh, details here like where the user is logging in what's happening like you can see user activity and you can see the devices uh, there are all other stuff cool i hope you learned something from the video and let me know uh, if you have any questions in the comments thanks